This is 5 and 10 from Skywatch TV. Five things you need to know for Wednesday, May 22nd, 2024. I'm Derek Gilbert. If you're watching us on YouTube, thank you. Subscribe, please. Please click the bell for notifications. And then after the break, I'll tell you how to guarantee we never get canceled, which is always, always something to think about when you're dealing with uh, that particular platform. Anyway, topic number five today, Gaza. The floating pier constructed by the U.S. military is now complete off the coast of Gaza. This, again, promised by President Biden during his State of the Union address. And as expected by some of us, Palestinian Arab terrorist organizations are now threatening to uh, attack those who are operating the floating pier. They're adopting the position held by Hamas that opposes the operation of this pier to bring humanitarian aid into Gaza. They threaten to harm any foreigners, including Americans, in the Gaza Strip. This warning coming from the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, or PFLP, they uh, warning against using the pier to deport Palestinian Arabs from the Gaza Strip. W what about those who want to leave? Now, the concern on the part of Europeans and North Americans is that there would be a uh, group of Hamas militants who might likewise deport. No, no plans announced, by the way, to bring Gazans to the United States, although there have been some reports that this is being considered inside the Biden administration. Bottom line, though, is, as I've said previously, it appears that Hamas and other terrorist organizations inside Gaza don't want the people there receiving humanitarian aid because the more images they can show, the more video of starving women and children on the streets of Gaza distributed around the world, the greater world pressure builds on Israel. And that's the only way Hamas comes out of this victorious. If the world forces Israel to stop prosecuting the war before Hamas is crushed. And by the way, just to show you how many shades of gray there are in this long-running conflict between Israel and uh, the Palestinian Arabs, and the fact that this is as much a, an ethnic struggle as religious, the Palestine, the Palestinian, um, the, the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, the PFLP, was founded by uh, Arab Christians or at least men who identified as Christian. Topic number four, Samaria. Fatah, this is the uh, political party of Yasser Arafat, the uh, power behind the Palestinian Authority in Ramallah. They apparently are now joining in the fight. They published on Thursday footage, video of its military wing carrying out terrorist attacks on Israel Defense Forces operating in Samaria and in the Gaza Strip working alongside Hamas. Now, bear in mind that back in 2005, when Ariel Sharon pulled Israel out of Gaza, forcibly evacuating Israel, Israeli settlers in the Gaza Strip, abandoning those settlements to the uh, Palestinian Arabs in the Gaza Strip, Hamas then went to war with Fatah and executed Fatah to take control of the Gaza Strip. That's why Hamas controls Gaza. Anyway, one of the videos shows Fatah operatives joining Hamas terrorists and shooting at IDF soldiers in Talkarm, that is Western Samaria, a town due east of the city of Netanya on the Mediterranean coast. Talkarm, just a few miles inland. Bear in mind that Fatah is the group that the Biden administration wants to take over administration of the Gaza Strip after the war. Now, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said he's not interested in replacing Hamas stan with Fatah stan. Instead, he wants to work with uh, Gazans who are not committed to our destruction, quoting him now, possibly with the aid of the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, and other countries that I think want to see stability and peace, end quote. Of course, the principalities and powers behind the scenes have a vested interest in continuing the bloodshed, carnage, and chaos. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem and for the peace of Gaza. Topic number three, the left eats its own. This happens again and again. It shouldn't come as a surprise. A progressive nonprofit group that's been handing out money to anti-Israel protest groups here in the United States is being sued by Black Lives Matter Global Network, Found Network Foundation. They're accusing the Tides Foundation of fraud and withholding more than 33 33. 33 million dollars in donations, according to this lawsuit. The Tides Foundation handles millions, hundreds of millions of dollars in, in uh, donations for progressive groups. It was founded back in 1976, essentially to manage financials for groups that are not 
501c3. That's tax exempt under IRS code. Well, Tides had been working with Black Lives Matter. You might remember they split. There's an offshoot group headed by Melina Abdullah, co-founder of the Los Angeles chapter of BLM. Tides started sending money to her instead of to the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation, which emerged from the scandal of founder Patrice Cullors taking some of the BLM donations to buy very expensive real estate. Tides uh, is uh, based in Los Angeles and San Francisco. Again, acts as a fiscal sponsor for groups that have not completed the paperwork or don't want to bother with the paperwork to become a 501c3. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But uh, you just... You know, if you're asking people for donations, you really ought to have some sort of ethical standards there. Now, it's worth pointing out that the Tides Foundation and is, uh, is sponsored by George Soros and his son, Alex. They've given about $14 million to Tides over the years. This, uh, again, being rolled into some of the pro-Hamas protest groups on American college campuses. Topic number two, messing with the magnet. This is kind of a weird story. We're sort of used to here on Earth when satellites outlive their usefulness, uh, communication satellites, GPS satellites, whatever, and the orbit decays, they hit the atmosphere, burn up on reentry, it's all good. Nothing reaches the surface. However, a plasma physicist and former Air Force research scientist named Sierra Salter, who's written a uh, not yet peer reviewed paper, contentious, there are other physicists who disagree with her. Uh, she argues that sending all of this um, metallic space debris uh, into essentially low Earth orbit is messing with the magnetic field around the Earth. These are conductive materials. And she argues that this metallic ash generated when these satellites burn up on reentry, uh, an Eiffel Tower's worth of magnetic ash per year, it left orbiting in the ionosphere of Earth could trap or deflect all or parts of the magnetic field. She describes the Earth as a giant ball magnet that we are now surrounding with fast moving metal trash. And this ash, particularly particulates of aluminum, could wreak havoc on or punch holes into the uh, ozone layer, which would be a bad thing, leaving us exposed to harmful solar radiation here on Earth. Now again, the paper is not yet peer reviewed, and there are scientists who disagree with her on this. The question is, we don't really know, because we've never done this before in human history. Coming up, um, if I said this, we would be canceled. I mean, really, really canceled. But it's somebody who's pretty much cancel proof. I'll explain next on 5 and 10. We want to make sure that you know how you can get your copies of both of these new works in the Nearing Midnight and Hereafter exclusive offer. This amazing offer includes Nearing Midnight as it was in the days of Lot by the legendary Terry James that explores in detail through the prism of God's word the potential for nuclear war to break out at any moment. How the entire world is facing the eminency of a dictatorial digital monetary system. Why Mother Earth worship in the form of climate change insanity is being forced upon humanity. How the entities of Ephesians 6.12 will establish control through a new world order and the blessed hope believers have in the return of the Messiah. Also included in this special offer is Jonathan Brentner's Hereafter. It's far better than you can imagine. This beautifully written new masterpiece will forever change the way that you view the afterlife. You will experience the anticipation of the jubilant reunion and celebrations in heaven that believers will partake in after this current life. Broaden your understanding of heaven and the start of eternity. You'll also learn the answers to difficult questions like, how will we experience and perceive time once in heaven? What will our emotions be like? What will our heavenly bodies be like? Will we have supernatural powers? And so much more. But we're just getting started. Also included is Jonathan Brentner's best-selling book, Triumph of the Redeemed. 
In this fascinating work, Jonathan helps you grasp on to the eternal perspective during life's perilous circumstances, the new earth, and so much more. This incredible offer also includes The Coming Judgments on DVD, where Terry James and Pete Garcia delve into great detail on the seal, trumpets, and bowl judgments listed in the book of Revelation. Also included is Jonathan Brentner's presentation entitled Hope in the Rapture. You'll be shocked when you find out why the Thessalonians were grief-stricken regarding the rapture upon receiving the Apostle Paul's first letter and how you can be free from this very same trap. Sold separately, these items hold a retail value of nearly $90. Yours now for your donation of only $45, which includes includes free shipping to all U.S. orders. So don't delay. You can scan the QR code on your screen right now using the camera app on your phone for instant access to this exclusive offer. You can also visit us at skywatchtvstore.com or call 1-844-750-4985 and ask for the Nearing Midnight and Hereafter exclusive offer right now. Item number one today. This is an appropriate time to say, oh, no, he didn't, but he did. New York City Mayor Eric Adams trying to address a crisis this summer in New York, a looming crisis anyway. The city's swimming pools facing a shortage of lifeguards. They need about 1,400 guards to operate the pools this summer. They've only filled about 500 positions. That's about a third of what they need. Adams has a solution Migrants. Migrants. Why? Because, Adams says, they're excellent swimmers. Now, now think about this. If you're a little older like me, you might remember a pejorative term, a racist term, applied to people from Latin and South America in the United States, which refers to their having crossed the Rio Grande. Not sure that's what's in Mayor Adams' mind there, but that's kind of what it seems. (laughs) We should hire migrants as lifeguards because they're excellent swimmers. And we know this how. Again, if this is the kind of thing I had said, we'd be canceled. But he's a Democrat, so it's fine. This week on Skywatch TV, we continue our discussion with Terry James of RaptureReady.com and Jonathan Brentner, two experts on end times Bible prophecy. And this week you hear a, just an amazing story, a near-death experience. Terry James, near-death experience. Don't miss this program. You can find all of the programs in this series. In fact, all of our video content at SkywatchTV.com. Our videos are always there. Just keep that in the back of your mind if and when we uh, get kicked off another video sharing platform. Uh, You can also catch it at our Roku or Apple TV channels. The broadcast for the Over the Air program posted skywatchtv.com slash uh, channels. That's the schedule for our Over the Air broadcast. You can also catch us at Rumble, rumble rumble.com slash skywatchtv. They seem to like us. Or better yet, make sure we never get canceled by downloading our free mobile app to your smartphone or tablet. You can also use your app on your mobile device to use Google's Chromecast or Apple's AirPlay to send the video wirelessly to your smart TV. It also has additional features like an audio Bible with multiple translations, a calendar of upcoming events, and more right in the palm of your hand, whether you're holding an iOS, Android, or Amazon Kindle Fire phone or tablet. And we have links to their app stores at our website, skywatchtv.com slash app. Thank you for watching as we keep watch and pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I'm Derek Gilbert. This is 5 and 10 from Skywatch TV. God's creation is full of mysteries. What were the giants in the scripture? Did dinosaurs roam the earth in the days of Noah? Are we alone in the universe? Join speakers Derek Gilbert, Rudy Landa, Michael Hoggart, Greg Patton, Mac Dominic, Josh Davis, and Micah Van Hus to explore the topics your Sunday school teacher didn't talk about at the Mysteries of the Bible Verse event in Cincinnati, Ohio, June 7th and 8th.